so hey what's up guys my name is Eddie and we're here for another video and in this video it will be my first tutorial modern house tutorial in this case and we're going to build this savannah house that was showcased in my video for modern houses for what warm biomes the link will be in the description and in the top right corner on that little eye uh, thingy <laughs> where you can find the link for that video also i've been streaming on twitch i've streamed twice now B both building some designs for other houses playing minecraft dungeons and playing a bit of sky adventures so if you want to follow me there there will be my username will be appearing right here on the screen it's 180 just as on youtube and the link will be in the description down below, so I hope to see you there. So, as I was saying, we will be building this house. And as you can see, this one has a peculiar shape. And it is made out of these materials, mostly, in my hot bar. I have the, the exact amount right here. So if you want to get those, these are the main materials. Some th the decorations inside are not accounted for. So, if you want to get those materials, here, here it is. Just pause the video and, and resume it once you have all of these materials. I also want to show you guys how I think about my houses. For this one, I already laid out where the grey concrete will be. Because this one is a bit different than usual. Also, as you can see, I've put this grid, like here, this grid right here to show you guys some more perspective. So I usually start by putting some one block of white concrete in each corner, one block from the side, as you can see right here, and then I simply choose the shape. So for this one, it will be at least like this, as you can see right here, and it will go two blocks further than this pillar right here, as you can see right here. So we'll just come here and two more blocks we'll have to do the same on the other side since this build is symmetric next we'll have these gray concrete pillars so let's just put them up just like this for now all of these and finally here whoops here so as you can see these blocks right here are, aren't used so i'll just remove them for now and we'll build the shape of the back right here so it will be something like this if i'm not wrong so just like this and as you can see we have the main shape of the building finally as you can see right here the trapdoors are on the outside so we'll just have to lay them out just like this and here as well same on the other side just have to go like this oops uh, uh, I'm placing too many blocks. <laughs> and just like this. Another point to talk about is this pillar right here, which gives the entrance to the house, so we'll just have to put it. So we, we just gotta come here. Oops, here and here. And now we can also put the fence gates. So, oops, that's glass. <laughs> so let me also put the glass right here, just to have the structure of the house in place so as you can see this is the shape of the house it is done right here and so now we can start building it up first i want to measure this part right here this case it's one two three four blocks high the white concrete so we'll just bring it four blocks high all around just like this, the same here and here, and we'll just have to do the same on this side. Finally, we're only missing this bit right here, and the, all of the white concrete should be almost done. So now that we have this, we can already expand the grey concrete which comes one block higher than the white concrete so we'll just have to go like this and here here and finally these two blocks right here now as we can see from that shape we can simply come here and join these parts 
these two pillars the same here we can just bring them over just like this and we can continue to just link them with these pillars right here you can see finally we gotta come along this parallel and bring this here and now we already have the part the top part done so we just have to put the light gray stained glass right here just like this and this should be done so now we have this top right here done just as it is on that side what we have to do now is both bring this bit of glass right here bring it up and now we just gotta go and build the rest of the acacia trapdoors all walls all the way up here and i believe this should be the right height so now we gotta open them all yeah it's right it's the right height so now we just gotta go like this same here and we just gotta complete this side as well just like this and here we'll just start open them again this is almost the game that i'm failing at <laughs> So finally, we just have to get the roof done. Just like this. I like to make it overhang, as you can see right there, and align it with the gray concrete to have a little bit of shade right here, as you can see. So we'll just have to go all around and fill all of this with these acacia slabs, just as you can see right here. However, for this house, as you can see, I've decided to not join, not go all the way around. And we'll just have to come here, just like this, and not join this. You could, all, you could also put it like this, or even join it all along the side. And I'm failing at, put it, at placing blocks. Just like this, it also works right, but it doesn't, it doesn't get the shape that I want. So I'll just leave it like this. Since this is a symmetric house, you just have to do the same on the other side, just like this, and here. Finally, we gotta finish off this part right here, just like this, and I'm, f I'm failing at placing slabs completely. Now we have the roof all done. Entering the house now, as you can see, it is a bit gloomy inside, so I just... On my build, I decided to put some lanterns just here. And on this side, just at the, at the entrance. I did also decide to put here a table. So if I'm not wrong, is right here in the middle. We'll have some sea lanterns. That's not how you write sea lanterns. Just like this. I just want to make sure if I, it is not one block too deep. Let's see. So we have, as you can see right here, two blocks, the um, chair, start of the table, and then middle. So we should have two blocks, chair, start of the table, so it's perfect. Then what you want to do is just get some things to decorate this house. In my case, I decided to go with birch stairs oak stairs as well just here and some oak slabs just so the birch stairs we'll just have them here 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 and here oops here as well and then you just gotta bring this like just here S gotta put an oak slab and then another oak stair same on this side and then just fill all of this with slabs. Just like, oops, this. What you wanna do is get a sign. In this case, you could use something like an oak sign. I think I'll use a spruce sign right here, just to contrast it a bit more on the 
on the original version i think i used oakwood but i'm not sure right now but you could always check the video check it out <laughs> or rewind this a bit so now you have a little bit more light underneath another technique that i like to use is to get some end rods and a flower pot right here and then put just like this and it kind of looks like a lamp i guess <laughs> also in my case i made the floor out of spruce planks so i decided i broke all of this and made it out of spruce planks so you could also use some other type of wood I, or even other blocks for example i think that jungle wood would probably look good here so you could do that, you could also use some kind of stone, for example stone bricks. In my case I'll use some world edit magic right now, just to fill all of this up. So if I just come here, for those of you who want to know how I do it, just come on each side, just to replace air and then spruce planks and as you can see right here all of this is filled with spruce planks in my case i used brown carpet right here so you could do the same i used it i believe it's just like this a little pattern really simple one or maybe it's even like this you could do it either way and then on this side i decided to put just some just a mix of bookshelves, barrels, and chests. Just gotta do it a little bit randomly. So just like this, for example. And you could... And then you just gotta pick some of them to change into barrels. So for example, this one. You could also get here. Try to get them at different... At different levels and uh, orientation like this so you could also get a chest here and you could do, can do the same right here on the other side so we just gotta come here here uh, just like this you could put a chest here barrel right here and another one here you could also put some lanterns right here and here for example and then you just gotta get a bed i use the brown bed just put it here and you could also put some chests here, as I did, not there. Here, just like this, same on this side. Oops, just like this, all right. So this is the house, It's <laughs> that's pretty much it. That This is the Savannah house. If you enjoyed this house and this tutorial, please leave a like, subscribe for more content, follow me on Instagram and tell me which type of house you'd like to see next if you'd like me to do to another house that i already built just leave it in the comments down below if you'd like to see a house in another theme or using other blocks let me know in the comments down below i'd appreciate it uh so follow me on instagram follow me on twitch i'll be doing some live stream from time to time and subscribe for more content and bye